Hey everybody, Danny Moon here. Call me what you want as long as it's respectful. <laughs> um, I have nothing ready. This video is for my Leos. My Leos, where you at? My Lions, my Leos, where you at? I'm calling y'all out. You was requested. Somebody requested you. <laughs> um remember all the cards and all of the channeling that i do will not resonate with every leo it's just impossible um so take what you can and give the rest back to the universe uh The first thing that I channeled um, was um, leveling up. I heard leveling up or leveled up or level up. And now, just now, when I was quiet for a minute, they're just showing me like all different sorts of money. So um, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that that means everything is good. Promotions, maybe. Um, Making moves, I'm hearing. Uh, I want to say a house, but I feel like somebody or many of you out there want a house. I'm not really sure if you're taking action right now. You might be looking, um, but nothing really concrete just yet. And that could be that could be um, to the money issue maybe or not issue but maybe you're maybe you're just coming into leveling up leos or maybe you just got a promotion or just got a new job so maybe this is not the right time right now to buy a house but maybe you are planning for the future that's what i'm feeling spirit can you please come in and give me three overall cards uh for the leos please the leos can you bring me leo energy please Um, I'm sure you're all proud of your kids, but just now what I got, what Spirit is giving me is like someone's proud of their daughter. Like my daughter, my daughter, they, they're just talking about their daughter. They're so proud of their daughter. Graduation time is here, y'all. So I'm sure people are graduating and leveling up in that type of way too, Leo. So kudos to you if you, if you raised your kid, even if you didn't, if you're just proud of your kid, you know. Kudos to you. I give you all credit for that. Um, somebody's looking for their keys. And maybe you're not looking for your keys. It's 1.30 in the morning. I'm in North Carolina. So if you're across the world, maybe you're not looking for your keys now. Maybe even another state, you're not looking for your keys now. Remember, y'all, I just jumped right in. I didn't even explain that this is past present and future energy maybe you was looking for your keys yesterday or maybe tomorrow you'll be looking for your keys but you are going to misplace your keys you're going to find them don't worry um it's probably in the drawer on the dresser drawer something like that they're giving me love is in the air i just heard like dating like like dating something new and fresh and dating or maybe even Maybe just talking right now, but whoever this is, y'all are feeling each other. Just, you're feeling each other. <laughs> That's cute. I love it. Spirit, can I get three overall energy cards for the Leos, please? Thank you. Thank you. Can I get one more, please, Spirit? I don't know if I'm getting a strained, you know, like, I don't know if I'm saying that word right. When you, uh, when you haven't spoke to your person or kid or whatever, like you're a strained, that's what they're giving me that word.
Um, can I get one more, please? Legal battles. Anybody with that's going through a legal battle, things will be fair. They just told me things will be fair. And I do have the justice card right here. Justice card, and it's upright. That means things will be fair. I think I picked it up reverse, but I put it down on the table upright. Uh, ooh, excuse me, y'all. Sorry. Spirit, can I get one more, please, for the Leos? I'm getting the word confidence. So if you are not confident right not confident right now you need to be um saying your affirmations every day writing them down would be even better cuz the universe picks that up better than words they they when you write stuff down it's on paper it's in black and white you know what i'm saying and it just goes to the universe for some reason, the universe picks it up better. You know what I mean? So start writing your stuff down. Just start journaling. It would be better to get your feelings out on paper. I'm hearing job interview or job is going to come through, you know, which is which is great. I feel like that's the same thing. Um, if you went on a job interview, you're going to get the job. It's going to go through. Patience, they've given me the word patience. Spirit, can I get one more card out of this deck for the Leos, please? Thank you. Um, okay. So you got justice. You have boundaries. And you have travel. I'm going to just give you a, sni a snippet of what those are, what they're talking about. Even though the all these cards are um, very self-explanatory, but let's just go with it. Okay. Oh my God, I should have my glasses on, y'all. Seriously. Seriously. Here we go. Magical meanings. You're being you're being treated unfairly. It's time to weigh up a situation. Justice will prevail. That's what I told you anyway. Um, a surprise makes up for something lost a decision a decision goes in your favor that's excellent y'all i told you you got it upright and um if you're in court something is going in your favor i think that's good leos i'm really feeling like luck might be on your side to um this week They said longer. It might even be longer. Luck is on your side even longer. My thing is use those energies. Use that energy. Um, stay grounded in your gratitude. Give thanks. Please understand that giving thanks and gratitude is similar, but it's not totally the same. Giving gratitude is giving gratitude from your soul, from your gut. Sometimes you're so thankful you cry. When I give gratitude, I cry all the time because I am giving gratitude not only for my good things, but for my unfortunate things too. Um, so make sure you give gratitude all the time, Leos, okay? You are in a space right now where luck is on your side, so please give gratitude to the universe. You did not do this on your own, okay? Boundaries. Let's see boundaries. We already know what that's what that's about. Um, because everyone has to create boundaries in, in their lives at some point. Oh, I so can't see. Boundaries. Okay. Magical meanings. 
you like to relieve people of burdens rather than impose. You're under no obligation. Saying no empowers you. See your demands from another, see your demands from another's point of view. Boundaries ensure respect and understanding. So if you're going through something, you know, with your baby father, baby mother, whatever you're going through, a person you're dealing with, your job, your mama, your family member, your friend, because at the bottom of the deck, at the bottom of the deck, you got friendships. So if you're going through something, I tell everybody this, y'all, make sure you take a bird's eye view and look at the entire situation. See what, like what you did, what you said, even if it is right, because Leo's you know, y'all are strong people. Even if it's right, you have to take a bird's eye view and look at it and say maybe maybe you, it's how you said it or what you said or whatever. Maybe you could come back to the table and compromise about something. You know what I mean? Um, but everybody should have boundaries. People shouldn't just push, push, push. And um, the Leos that I know... Hmm. And I don't think I know many Leos, but right now I'm seeing two of them in my head. Very quiet. They can snap off at you, but it takes them a minute. It takes them a minute. Leos, you literally have a lion inside of you. But people poke and poke and poke and poke at you until that lion comes out. So... What we're saying with boundaries here, y'all, is that don't let that lion come out where you snapping everybody's head off. You know what I mean? Take the time to step back and see what the situation is, whatever the situation is. If it's a cheating spouse, um, still, before you get super upset, step back, um, analyze the situation, come back to the table and compromise and communicate clearly and then walk out. Or walk away. You know what I'm saying? But don't let nobody poke and pry at you. You know what I mean? And that's where your creating boundaries will happen, okay? Let people know exactly what you will take and what you won't take. Now, it's funny because of the two Leos that I do know, they are like that. You know what I mean? But they, but you, it takes them a minute. They're very quiet, the, the Leos that I know. I'm sure I know more than two. But the two that I'm thinking of right now um, from my old hood... Um, you know, they're quiet, but they will, when they get out of control, and it's only because you push them there, you know, the Leos, it's only because you push them there. All Leos that I know are very sweet. I must say they're very nice people. Um, travel, uh, I don't think I have to read that, but, you know, since I'm on a roll, I guess. Uh, 120. Uh, Spirit did just put a couple of cards. They put the chariot, the tra the chariot in my head. The chariot is the travel card. So you might be going on vacation or, um, you know, it's summer. Who's not going on vacation? So you might be going on vacation. I do see greenery in my head. So you might be going to a nice island, you know, or maybe something short, Puerto Rico, Dominican, um, Cuba. I don't know if you're, anyone's going to Cuba, <laughs> um, but be safe, you know, be safe, be safe, be safe. Don't be in the days where like, oh, I'm finally on vacation and you, you know, don't relax too much just because you're on vacation. Be safe and be aware is what I'm trying to tell you. You know, so the char tra chariot card means more than travel, but one of the meanings um, to the chariot card is travel. Okay, magical meaning. A journey reveals answers. That's another thing. This traveling meaning, maybe you're um, going within. Maybe things are happening in your life or maybe not happening in your life the way you want them to go. So you're really taking an introspection on like your life and um, 
you know, which, where you're going and what you're doing. You know what I mean? That is a journey. That is traveling, so to speak. That is traveling. My thing is, um, I know that might sound corny to some Leos out there, but a journey or sitting still and, and taking a journey within your life, you know what I'm saying, is taking action. And that is what the universe responds to. If you go within and you start dicing up what's going on, where you're going, how you're moving forward, who's doing what, what are you doing, taking accountability, all these things, the universe gives to you because you're you're giving. It's almost like the six of pentacles. You give and you receive. You know, and now if you decide to sit in your mess and stay stagnant and oh oh two of pentacles, two of two of wands, I can't make a decision. I can't make a decision. Then that's on you. That's nobody's fault because the universe sent me here to do this reading so that you can know things are in your favor now. The energies are in your favor, Leos. This is the time where you should take action because the universe right now has their eye on you. So even if you feel like, oh, I might do it wrong or I might this or it might not go well, take action anyway because the universe got your back. Seriously. <laughs> right now, I wish I was in your energy because it's... Um, I feel, you know what I'm feeling, the energy that they're giving me, that spirit is giving me, like, like I guess momentum, like build up, boom, 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 like that. That's awesome. That's awesome. You can't fail like that. You can't fail like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, Leos, don't have no fear. Don't have no fear. People don't expect y'all Leos to have fear, but we all have fear. We're all human, you know what I mean? And so when we have fear, we say to ourselves, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know which way to go. I don't know which what decision to make. But it's not that we don't know. It's really that we're fearful of, we're fearful, excuse me, y'all, you know I always fix my do-rag on camera. Um, it's really that we're fearful of what's around the corner. Like they showing me the moon card right now. The moon card is about hidden truth. It's about lies. It's about um, what's around the corner. It's about um, magic. The moon is about energy. You know what I'm saying? So, um don't be fearful now, Leos. I, I have a really, in the pit of my stomach, I have a really good feeling for y'all. It's the outside of, the outside of my stomach. <laughs> Sorry that I'm using my stomach as an example, but it's the outside of my stomach that I'm feeling that y'all are like pussyfooting a little bit or moving slow or maybe not even doing anything, okay? Spirit, can you please come in and give, um... Let's just start with six cards for the Leos, please. Um, for the Leos, please. Let's give them not what they want to hear, but what they need to know. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Um, they're saying endeavors, endeavors, endeavors. So maybe y'all are, um, what does that mean, endeavors? Like diving into things, endeavors is like um, projects and stuff, Like right? I could be right. Leave it in a comment. Leave it in the comments if I'm right. Endeavors. I think that's what that means. That's how I know spirit is talking through me because I'm smart, but I ain't that smart. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even be knowing what spirit be talking about. But um, I'm looking at the seven of cups in my head. So I'm feeling like you have a lot of opportunities in front of you. That may, And now they showing me the two of swords. Let, let me take these cards out. Spirit, can you take these? Thank you, Spirit. Rest. Y'all need to rest. A lot of y'all are doing um, your basic, running around. You know what I mean? But y'all need to rest. This rest is not about sleeping. This rest is about going within, like I said earlier. You need to um, really go within because you need to choose to do something different and 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 to to do something different or maybe pick from these options you got maybe you're deciding to to oh look at that i was just gonna say maybe you're deciding to get a new job or apply for a new job and look at you got the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles is like big money oh my god 
Ooh, and you see the cloud, the hand, this means God's giving it to you. And I told you already, the energy is in your favor, y'all. Just go with it. Maybe a lot of you came here. Maybe a lot of you wanted to see this for confirmation because I'm feeling like y'all knew this. They're showing me intuition, like your intuition knew you knew you know you know that you got that job you know what you could do you know you can move forward you just needed um confirmation they're saying thank you spirit thank you can you give me something else can you give me something else for the leos please um eight of swords eight of swords y'all this means like i told you the leos i know they're quiet and and in this reading, they already told you twice to go within. Okay, boom. The, the travel card plus the, the rest card. So the Eight of Swords is about being in your head. Like you're going you're in your head about like, how how could he do this? How could she do this? What am I going to do? Um, how am I going to do this? How am I moving forward? You keep just asking yourself these questions over and over, but you're not really like answering yourself. You know what I mean? You're, you're asking the question, but you're not answering. The only way you can answer the, these questions is, is a couple of ways, two ways. Either scratch the questions that you that you keep asking yourself, scratch them, throw them out the window, or two, you can answer answer yourself. How did he or she do this to me? They did this to me because blah 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 blah. Look at the situation. You know why they did this, you know, or you know why you did this, Leos. You know, the energies are transferable. Like, it doesn't have to be you. It could be the spouse or it could be someone around you, okay? Remember, energy is past, present, future or other people or you. Because this is your reading, the majority is a, is really like you, Leos. But it doesn't have to be you. It could be a, um, the people around you. So, please remember that. Eight of Swords, this is not a good card. But what I tell people about the Eight of Swords is if you look at it real close... Um, they can wiggle out of this. They could wiggle out of the, this, these ropes. They could take this blindfold off. You can, you have the, um, Leo's, you have the key. You could do this. Now, let me tell you right now. I hope that my alarm doesn't go off. It's 146. I hope it don't go off at two o'clock. If it does, then you're You're going to get like a part two. So I'm, um, cause I'm not going to erase this. Uh, sorry. I feel the energy spirit is on a roll on a roll. Right, they're showing me the hi the um the hierophant card. They want me to give this to you because a lot of you are going through I don't want to say spirituality. Like I think y'all are all very secure in your spirituality. But I think the journey that you're taking now is is maybe qu questioning like God or questioning um your marriage cuz this is a marriage card um or this is a this is a spirituality card too you're questioning something and spirit is saying have faith lay in your faith stop questioning especially don't question god you know better than that you know what i'm saying lay in your faith lay in your faith or take a leap of faith you understand what I'm saying? Take a leap of faith and just go out and get the job. Take a leap of faith and have a conversation with your spouse and say, listen, here's the evidence. I know. And even if you don't got evidence, just say, listen, we need to talk. Something got to happen. We stuck. I'm not happy. Can we move forward? How are we moving forward? You know, and trust me, y'all, I know like I've talked strong and big and I know it's not easy, but you got to ask yourself, what do you want? Do I want to be like this for the next 25 years? Or do I want to take a leap of faith and see what the fuck happens? That's on you. Tarot, the, when you come to tarot and you come to readers, we can't give you answers. We just, we are just relaying messages from spirit. Spirit wants you to know that they know what's going on. And they are trying to tell you, this is what you should do. Take a leap of faith. Talk, um, talk to somebody. Communicate clearly. Go for the job. Quit the job. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> Spirit, give me something else, please. Thank you.
like they're giving me they're t showing me like some type of aggravation either you argued with your spouse or your mother and like but they're not i can't hear them what the, i can't hear what's going on <clears throat> somebody owes somebody money i know that much that's what they said for that for someone out there some or a couple of people or you might owe somebody money see the hermit card this is how I can't make this up, y'all. I talked about the hermit card before it came out. Spirit is saying you need to go within. Spirit is saying you are always within, Leos. Y'all are always quiet and in your mind and thinking about something. Spirit said now it's time for you to do the work while you're while you're there, while you're in there, why while you're thinking so hard. Now it's time for you to do the work and step forward and, and make decisions and make things happen and stop doubting yourself and stop thinking. And I have to say this, please don't be mad at me, Leos, because they just gave this to me. There's a few of you out there that's just being lazy. Can I get some more spirit? Can you tell me, tell me some more, please? And can you please not cut, cut, um, can you please not cut the cut it off, please? <clears throat> All right, the tower, y'all. The tower is devastating energy. Something's gonna. God is about to remove something in your life. Now, this could have happened six months ago, and you're starting to get over it now. This could have happened six days ago. This could be happening right now, tonight, as I speak to you. Or this can happen tomorrow or six months in the future. Just spirit is trying to tell you beware and be ready. Okay. Um. When I say devastating energy, you never know. Spirit spirit might, sorry, y'all, keep burping quietly. Spirit is trying to, might take this um, spouse out of your life. Spirit is probably trying to tell you, I keep telling you and giving you a chance to remove this job, remove this friend, remove this spouse, remove this person, remove this situation, and you won't do it. So now spirit is going to do it. God is going to do it. The universe is going to do it. But it's nothing for you to get totally upset about because it's going to be for the greater good of you. It's going to be for you. Now, you're not going to see that at first, but hopefully by watching this video, you're going to know that as you're crying, hopefully you're going to be grateful to God for whatever it is. And you're going to know that you want to get up from that. Let me tell you something about Leos, especially the two Leos I know. Y'all are super duper strong. Y'all are right there with the Saggies. You know what I mean? Y'all are really strong. You know what I mean? Now, and the Cancers. But I do understand that, like, the other signs, they might cry inside. Y'all get really upset. Leo, y'all get upset. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, you got to understand, what. where is that going to lead you? You getting upset, is that going to help you? Taking action is what's going to help you. <clears throat> Spirit, thank you so much. Can I get two more, please? Celebration, three of cups. Or a third party. Just keeping it in real. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. Can I get some more spirit? Any? Can I get two more, please? Um, three of Cups means um, a celebration. Somebody's birthday could be coming up or a graduation or something, you know, could be coming up or something. Some type of event is coming up with with ugh, friends and family. Um, a gathering is coming up and... Um, either you're not too crazy about it like you like i don't know if i want to go but you're going anyway um that's how some leos are feeling and then um I think some Leos are feeling like they're questioning. I guess that's the same thing I just said. Some Leos are questioning whether they're going to go or not to whatever this is. You're questioning, should I go or am I going to go or something like that. I, I can't really feel what spirit is trying to tell me, but it's something about questioning about this gathering. Maybe about the people who are going to be there or something. Um, another thing with this card, y'all, on the other side, if it's not about friends and family and an event, it's about a third party in a relationship. 
I don't, I don't, you, you, do you need me to explain it? Third party, boom, 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 right. So, um, mm -mm. <clears throat> my, but the reason why I didn't even explain it is because they're showing me an intuition now. They're saying you already knew this. They're saying you already know. Um, and now, or, or Leo, or Leo, it's you, or, or you can have the third party. You, or you are the third party in some type of manner. You know what I mean? It's it's up to you. It's you have to apply that to your life. You, you know what I'm saying? Either you cheating on your spouse, or your spouse is cheating on you. But there's a third party involved. That's one on one hand. The other meaning, this is a this is a uh, an event. I don't want to. I don't know why I want to say a community event. Maybe it's a community coming together for you in some type of way. You know what I mean? But it's an event. It's something with family and friends. Blah blah blah. A gathering of some sort. Maybe that third party is gonna be at that event. Don't pop off. Please don't. Spirit, can you give me two more, please? Can you give me two more, please? Two more for the Leos, please. Thank you. Um, the Emperor. The Emperor. And honestly, I picked it up like that. So if I would turn it like this, that means you got it in reverse. The emperor upright means everybody, you're in control of what you are doing. You're in control of this situation. You know what's going on. You're calling the shots. You're making moves. Everything is good. People are looking up to you. People are coming to you for advice. But when it's in reverse, baby, baby, <laughs> they're saying ain't nothing you doing is right. You ain't, you ain't in control of nothing. You ain't in control of your mind you ain't in control of no situations you out of control right now they saying that's what the emperor means in reverse <clears throat> can i get one more spirit please i'm gonna make sure i read that reversal to you so y'all can know that i'm not lying um, Queen of Pentacles, y'all. This is your second Pentacle card. So I think right now a lot of you are in your minds, um, not in your minds, but in in work. It's all about work, work. Um, maybe getting a new. But see, look at what's at the bottom of the deck. The Lovers card. This is about a relationship. This is about which way should I go? Um, now I'm hearing lonely. So some of you are maybe lonely. You know what I mean? Some of you maybe not in a relationship, and you want a relationship. Um, and what I tell people to that is if you want a relationship, just like I tell people to take action when it comes to work and family and friends and everything else, you got to take action when it comes to dating. The world is open now. Forget about a, a pandemic. The world is open. Go to a bar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you have to you have to look at things on a lighter note, Leos, because sometimes Y'all could be in your head too much and y'all look at everything so seriously when all you got to do is like really dress up one day, get real cute, real handsome or whatever, and go sit at a bar and order a drink and maybe let somebody come to you. You know what I'm saying? And so let's say if that's, say if that's fantasy and like the movie and that don't happen, right? Get on internet dating. Get on this Facebook app that I'm seeing, like this dating Facebook thing, um, or meet up, um, do something. Go out with friends. Meet somebody through a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, take action. No one's just going to fall. It's not going to just fall in your lap. It's not. <clears throat> but what I am telling you, though, the energy is here for you to use now. So use the energy in a great way, y'all, because things will happen for you. <clears throat> Spirit, can I get three um, angel answers, please? Three angel answers. And I didn't finish with the tarot, y'all. I just, I'm nervous that my phone gonna, my phone gonna cut off. <clears throat> Can I get two, please, for the Leos, too? For the Leos, please. Thank you. Be assertive. See what I'm talking about, Leos? Y'all are real quiet people. Y'all are in your mind. You letting the people poke at the bear because then you're gonna let that lion come out and then you're gonna wreck shop and then everything... 
you're going to wreck shop and then this emperor is going to stay in reverse. Like, you don't need to do that. You don't need to do that. Leos, come on. I know you got a friend. You got somebody to talk to. If you want a private reading with me, you can email me at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Um, I am thinking like for Father's Day. I don't even know when that is. That might be next weekend. Um, I'm doing a special for like $35, a full reading. So you can hit me up and make your appointment or whatever. Um, but can I get another one for the Leos, please? You'll be fine, Leos. Y'all a strong group. <laughs> You'll be fine if you get out of your your head and your emotions. And when I say emotions, your emotions are not like cancers where y'all are sad or crying. Your emotions is like you get angry and you start boiling. <laughs> like, that ain't no good. Um, can I get one more, please? If I get cut off, y'all, I love y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Can I get one more, please? And I'm not, I don't need to give you a bonus because this was cut and dry. Thank you, spirit. Remain positive, y'all. I agree. Leos, y'all, again, with the madness, y'all will get mad and you won't remain positive. You will think the worst and you'll start even getting a little depressed. So please remain positive and know that right now I'm telling you, um, um, I'm telling you that the energy is in your court. The, the energy is, the ball is in your court. The energy is in your court. All you have to do is take um, action. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is about, all cups in a, in a tarot deck is about emotions, love, but she's a queen. So they're saying she's very intuitive. She uses her intuition. Um, she uses her heart. You know, she knows what she wants. So if you locked in some type of relationship, you know that you don't want to be there. So you need to bounce. Okay, and don't tell me about kids. People love throwing the kids in the mix. Oh, the kids. Um, we can't. I just can't leave. It's been so long, but I can't just. We tied up in affairs. Then you're gonna keep yourself there. You know what I'm saying? You have to be happy in order to raise your kids. In order to be a good friend, a good person, a good this, a good manager, good hairdresser, a good this, whatever. You have to be happy. Your mental has to be stable. Your heart has to be stable. If you're not stable, then what good are you? <clears throat> Spirit, can I get some more? Two more, maybe out of here, please. The star card. You know what this means? This means you, you are divinely guided. This means God is watching you. Your spirit team, the people who passed over, your loved ones, your angels are watching you. This means everything is all good. This also is a little wish card. So if you wish on something, wish upon a star, this will happen for you. But they're also saying like right now you're not balanced. You see how she's balanced. One foot in water, one foot on land. Right now you're not ba balanced because right now you feel like shit might not be going right for you right now. But in all actuality, it is going. It is. This is the time for you, Leos. It is going well. You just don't see it. It is going well. This is not a bad spread at all. <laughs> you know, at all. <clears throat> Spirit, can I get some more? King of Swords. King of Swords is about a communication card. Like you either just had a, a disagreement or an argument or something and... King of Swords and it's upright. That means you 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 made your point. You Your point was very clear, very clear and direct. Or you're thinking about having this conversation. King of Swords knows exactly what they want and what they say. You know, when they say move, everyone go where? <laughs> and they move. But the thing about King of Swords is that they're respected. Um, they don't leave people hanging out in the cold. They don't hurt people with their words. That's why he's a king. You know what I mean? So make sure that you think about what you say before you say it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Thank you, spirit. Somebody's watching you over the internet. Somebody's watching you hard. They're watching your Facebook. They're watching your every move. They want to know why you doing this, why you doing that, or you're watching somebody. Why they hanging out? Why they with him? Why they with her? You, you, you got questions, you know what I mean? Or this third party that we talked about is watching somebody. Page of Swords is about, um, this is Page of Swords. Page of Swords is about 
I don't want to sound creepy, but somebody watching you over the internet. But it's also about a message coming your way. So you might get a message through Facebook Messenger. You might get a, a text message or something. And I'm not really sure if you're going to want to hear it or like it. But you're divinely guided. Remember that. Um... I'm hearing the name Michael, Jason. Jasper or Jasper? Khalil. Donovan. Joseph. Jojo. Royalty or loyalty? I don't know what they just said. Spirit said royalty or loyalty. Something like that. Yep. It's your time. This is spirit. This is your time. This is the judgment card. Judgment card is means God is saying it's a wake up call. Like for all of a sudden you woke up like, okay, I'm not doing this no more. I'm today's the day. I'm not doing it no more. But Leo's don't stay in that energy. If this, if today is the day and you're not doing it no more, then don't do it no more. And make solid decisions of what you're going to do and how you're going to move forward. Remember, what's the first word I heard? It was level up. Leveling up. That's what Spirit told me. Leveling up. So it is your time. You're working hard. Eight of Pentacles means you're working hard. But remember, y'all, work smart. Don't just work hard. Work smart. Okay? And don't think by working so much. That card is like you working hard so much. You working. Or Eight of Pentacles means you're in school. You're about to go to school or you're back to some type of training or program or something. This this card means. But what I'm getting off of it, because I'm an intuitive reader, is that you're throwing yourself into, into work to forget about your problems. But you don't understand is when you come up from that work, your problems are still going to be there. Okay, so please, 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 the death card, y'all, and I like this card because with, with the judgment card, with the judgment card, this is saying you come, you heard the call, so you're com coming into a new, you're dropping the old and you're coming into the new because you listen to what your intuition and to what God is trying to tell you. I mean, this, look at this. I'm going to take this off. Look at this spread, y'all. Let me turn this around. Look at this spread. This is an excellent spread. I never did this before because this is a... Look at this. You got justice. You got boundaries. You got the Ace of Pentacles, the Hermit. Yes, you got the Tower, but the Tower's in beneficial for you. The Eight of Swords, you can get yourself out of that. You got a party or a third party right there. You can deal with that. You have the, the Queen of Cups. You got the Queen of Pentacles, the Judgment card. Come on, you got the Star card. Like... There's no, there's no better, there's no better than that, Leos. There's no better than that. This is for my girl who asked me on Facebook for my people's, I think it was a girl, yeah. This is for my people who asked me on Facebook to do the Leo reading. This time is y'all. This energy is for you right now. So take it and run with it, please, okay? I love you, y'all. It's been 43 minutes. I'm out. Danny Moon. Hit me on. Um, I have a Facebook. It's called um, Sessions and Guidance with Danny Moon. Um, you can hit me on my email at moondanny1976 at gmail.com. Um, or you can inbox, inbox me on Facebook if you're my friend on Facebook, and we'll do this reading, okay? Love you.